Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's KDK. So in today's video, we're gonna do another walkthrough here at Marty's Hobbies located in Thousand Oaks, California. Now, for those of you guys who've never heard of Marty's Hobbies or you've never been to the store, I believe they are the second largest hobby store in all of Southern California. They have a ton of inventory here. They got RC cars, they got drones, they got model trains. They got your paints, they got everything you need for all of your hobby needs. And I really wanted to see how they're doing uh, during COVID-19 uh, because I've noticed that a lot of my views on their previous videos and other videos I have have really gone up. And a lot of people have been ordering RC cars since they're stuck at home. So let's go ahead here and check it out. I mean, this place is awesome. They got an indoor racetrack, food, everything. So hope you guys enjoy the video. Oh, the Fortec 2.0, huh? 349, Fortec. Whew. Oh, I love this place. I can tell since COVID they've cut back on inventory. Either that or they've been selling a lot. And on my previous videos, my viewership has gone up on my hobby videos because people have probably been looking to see what they could do since COVID and they're pretty much stuck at home. So maybe either they've been selling a lot or inventory has just been really low. But this place does a lot of business. Anything? Oh, I'm just browsing around. I haven't been down here in a while, so I thought I'd come in and see what you guys are up to. What's new right now uh, in the RC world? RC world. So this is the SCX 10.3 mm -hmm. right now. That's the newest, latest, greatest, baddest thing right now for the crawler world. Okay. Um, it has a dig unit in it, two speed. You know, and that one is ready to run version of it what? so it's kind of been hard to get really and i have it here in front of me huh yep so <laughs> i mean i think they're finally catching up on the orders and everything now mm -hmm. so it's been out for yeah, probably about like two months but motor? just the shops are finally getting the product in here yeah. okay yeah i know the last time i was in here there was a rock collar that just came out or something similar so this one just came out then yeah, there was the, probably last time we came in here, we probably just had the kit because they released the kit first and now they released the RTR. Okay. Um, other than that, it's pretty much, everything else pretty much the same, tracks is still, you know, slashes are high demand right now, you can't get a hold of them, I mean, we do got a few two-wheel drive ones, but everybody's after the four-wheel drives, it's kind of like all things. Uh, okay. Armas are hard to keep in stock. I'm not surprised this one's still here, the crane. Yeah, I was tempted to get one, but I haven't really devoted a lot of time into the RC hobbies anymore. I mean, I'm really still interested in it and getting into it, but putting in the wrench time and doing the mods, you know, in order to get it where I want to be. Uh, and then we got the GR10. Which one's that? Oh, the yeah. Team Associated Jackster. 
Okay. We couldn't get those. So drag racing is starting to get like uh, real popular right now. Yeah, yeah we're going in four days. Uh, there's a group of guys doing it in Simi Valley. Back there. Um, sold when I was off. Heard Saturday so nights and Thursday ones. nights. Those are the mm -hmm. red ones. I got the anniversary car. So or the, or is that a kid or is that ready to run? Yeah. That's ready to run. You know, a lot of guys yeah. do modify the tracks to a dry slash. Oh, yeah. I see, I see. Okay. Build them into the dragsters. Right. You know, but this is team associated that says they're going to bypass all that instead of having people go out by their short course truck. They're just going to, here you go, here's the one, ready to go. Yeah, you know, I was noticing that my views on my previous videos have gone up on Marty's Hobby since COVID and everything. So I was wondering if you guys are really doing a lot of uh, special orders and middle orders and everything. You know, this is, we've been getting wiped out. Everything's been getting wiped out a little faster and faster, you know. Yeah. I'm Keel, by the way. What's that? Keel. Keel? Yeah. Nice to meet you. Dustin. Exactly. Dustin. Yeah, so I've been here a few times, did some videos, and I was like, huh, I wonder why my views are going up for the hobbies. That was back in uh, April, March and April. Yeah. And even May, they were going up. So I was like, huh. People are sitting at home probably trying to figure out what to do, so. What to do, and they're mm -hmm. just like bicycles, you know, uh, RC world, RC stuff, uh, everything, everybody's buying everything up. Cause I know you guys usually have a ton of tracks back there <laughs> yeah, on eight scale. So I was like, either COVID slowed everything down, or people are buying you guys out. People are buying us out. You can't keep them in fast enough. You know, like right now, it's like we get the batteries in, batteries are gone. You know, we can't keep the batteries in stock fast enough. Man. You know, same with the slashes. This right here is kind of these been out for a while, but they've been kind of hard to get. Mm -hmm. You know, the SCX 24s. Okay. But they're high demand. I mean, we've got 18 in on Friday. This is what we have left. Who? So who's really, what crowd is really uh, going after these cars right here, the Axials? Usually guys that stay home with their kids and don't really want to go out and everything. Okay. Um, people are building uh, basically indoor courses for these because uh, they're small now. So it's really easy to build a course. You get a couple boxes here and there and of course. some spray foam, build it up. And get a little bit of twigs and rocks and stuff. There's a lot of guys that just don't want to venture out. You know? Yeah, and you guys see here, Marty's Hobbies has an indoor track here. It's pretty nice. You know, I really love the indoor tracks with the uh, the foam and everything because that way you don't have to break as many parts right. as you you know will do. Because I was really into the 16 scale thing, but I said, man, I'm spending more money on 16 scale if I just got a 10 scale that's really more durable. Because I put a lot of money into my 16 scale Revo. Yeah. Especially place replacing those diffs every time I would strip them, <laughs> <laughs> and those things are like twelve bucks each. Yeah. Front and rear, you figure twenty four every time. It starts to add up. Everything adds up, you know. It's like I tell people, you know, it's like you can buy the stock servo. Yeah. You, know, you base that three, four times. You know, you're gonna spend just as much as you could just the first time around buying a, a good high end servo. Oh, definitely. Uh, what's new in the drone business? I know we got the rest of the RC parts and accessories over here. Drones? I don't really know too much on the drones. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just be more of an Alex thing. I mean, the newest drone thing that we have are these uh, e Max. You can use a light bulb or You can change the battery mode on So these are the newest ones right here. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Yeah. So just bind and fly. Does that have a camera on it? Yep. Oh, sweet. With the FPV on it. And do you know if the drone racing is really taking off? Because I remember it was a big thing maybe a couple of years ago. I don't know if it really ever picked up as far as uh, It's kind of like it was still an underground uh, thing. Mm -hmm. You know, drone racing, I hear there's a lot of guys drone racing in Oxnard. They got a abandoned warehouse out there in Oxnard that they're drone racing in. Okay. Um, I know they drone race over there at the Ventura Fairgrounds. You know, there's a uh, that, that go-kart place. I think the go-kart place sets up a bunch of hoops and stuff, and then they have it where they where you can drone race and stuff like that. Yeah, I know where that is. Yeah. It's pretty good. So you guys can see these are all the batteries here. Yeah. For all the drones and RC cars, everything you guys have need. Yep. As you can see, our 
Chox's battery has gone back down. You know, all we got left is just the four cells and then the nightcap batteries. Okay. Do you guys have the conversion kit for the X Max to make it 8S? Yeah, I remember. I got that. To make it 8S? Yeah. No, not you know, right now. You don't? Okay. Yeah, I heard about that one. Yeah. That's, that's one of the hard ones to get. You no, know, usually we'll have the. The Traxxas slash uh, combo, motor combos, mm -hmm. we don't even have those. You got to buy it individually, which costs you like another $30 more to buy right. it individually. Mm -hmm. Hey, who's the owner here? Because every time I come in here, I never, I don't think I ever meet him. Glenn. Is he here today? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, he comes around once in a while. Yeah, because I remember you guys used to be over there at that other shopping center. Right. But it was tight. I don't know how, man, that store was small. But I'm glad you guys moved over here. So, yeah, this place is laid out with all the planes and everything you guys need to accessorize. This is my, I think, third or fourth time here in this location recording. So, just wanted to show you guys around. They have everything you guys need uh, as far as hobbies. You know, you got your paints, you got your glues everything you guys need to uh accessorize you got your trains in the back back there i haven't ran into a lot of guys anymore that are still into uh model trains but i know that hobby is still huge so it'd be nice to hang out with some of you guys all right anything else i missed anything that's new um top of my head i can't think of anything new oh the twin otter is a new plane right here okay you know, but a lot of people are saying that it is a handful. Um, so, personally, I don't fly planes, but from all the plane guys are telling me that's like the it's a new plane, but it is takes a lot of work to handle it. Sweet, it's good. Yeah, I wanted to get off into planes, but I uh, I decided to stick with drones, and um, my other option was helicopters, but. I realized that I know a lot of the guys who fly helicopters, you really got to be really skilled with that. So I just decided to keep it simple. There's not too many places. You, it's not like you take a lot of this stuff to the park and start flying around without not somebody. Anymore. Yeah, a lot of people asking questions or trying to cause problems. All right, fellas, just wanted to give you guys another look around at Marty's Hobbies here again. You guys can come here. This place is located in Thousand Oaks, California. Uh, they do have a phone number. Um, I'll get that information for you guys to check out the description and the location. But just wanted to show you that uh, places. It, this place is alive and well. They are doing special order for all customers interested in all forms of hobbies. So... Um, just wanted to show this to around to you guys today. Hope you guys have really been interested in this. I definitely don't like to venture too far off away from my roots, but I think a lot of us actually started here. Model planes, helicopters, RC cars. So uh, I may pick something up here today, but just wanted to show you guys around and give you guys a look. So they have everything here that you guys need. And if any of you guys are still into model trains, hit me up like to see what projects you guys are working on and make sure you check out my facebook group that is arcade pc rc hobby group keel dykin on facebook so hope you guys have enjoyed this video uh, the racetrack is empty today i'll catch you guys later you guys have a great day